y'all. I know I'm a bad boy, but Jesus. What's up, guys? It's your boy Connor. What? What's going on here? What are we doing on a sporty? We got the sporty going. We not jinxed it. We're gonna take a photo here in the middle of the road, but first, let's try uh, the old. Oh, that dude! That got that front wheel up pretty easy. I thought I was going to have to like really move it. I think that's the first official one we got up. Let's try it. Oh! <laughs> dude, this Shinko, bro. Dude. Oh, God. Dude, that was a bad pull. We almost fell on that one. We're getting it off the ground. I just need to actually continue throttling through it. Dude, that's crazy. Let's go ahead and uh, do this real quick before anyone comes. So we got the sporty running. Thanks to Phil, State Town Cycles. That's a nice one. So we're going to go explore a little bit. It's definitely a little sketch. I need to work on throttling through because I'll get it up and that kind of stop. I'm afraid of over throttling it. A lot of people say that you can't really loop a uh, Harley, that the uh, balance point's super far back. That was bad. Now, now I'm trying too hard. Covering the rear brake. Should we go too far? Now the thing is, will I remember to press the rear brake if I panic? Nah! So we're in first gear, going about five, 10 miles an hour. Let me get in this little middle part of it. That was a baby one, I felt the forks break. I mean, these are baby wheels right now. Nah! Do y'all do it with two fingers, one finger? I still have to cut the lever. Nope, see it's like, I'm not laying the clutch out enough. This is, <laughs> I'm so stoked for this, dude. We're just baby wheelies all over here. With the Z125, it was kind of cool because uh, it was super easy to get up, but I felt like the balance point was super short. No, see, it's like, I can feel it coming off the ground. Well, that was a good quick little practice. We may try a little again later. <laughs> I am so stoked. We're gonna be doing the vagina approach, but better gonna practice proper safety. I have uh, an old built jacket I bought a while back. I had it for sale on like offer up, but no one wanted to buy it. So we're just gonna repurpose it and reuse it. So that way we can protect our nice, nice arms and stuff. But with the Sporty, we have the basics done to it. Pretty much not gonna put any more money into it other than maybe a chain conversion once the belt breaks. I was kind of looking at just swapping it from the get-go. I was looking at the track or die chain conversion kit, but it was about uh, 400 bucks, you know, with the, the hard case performance bolt locks. You're looking at about 500. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna kind of hold off on that for now. So I totally forgot how brutal life is without a fairing. We're hoping to end up snagging up uh, a Memphis Shades sport shield, looking at the Rio Grande. So we're here in the beautiful Texas Hill Country. We are on Highway 360, or the 360. We're gonna check out some, see if we can get some scenic views from the 360 bridge. There is a lookout spot to where you can hike up to the top and take a photo, but you can't take the bike up there. So we're gonna try to go to the boat docks on the other side of that lookout and see if we can at least have it in the background. Let's go this way, I think. I have no idea where it's gonna, oh, I guess we do it up there. This is the most, see, look at that. Everyone's like, oh my God, that's so pretty, which it is. It's a really cool bridge. The first time I came across this bridge, 
uh, was for my older brother's uh, like 30th birthday, I think it was. I mean, there's tons of bridges all over Texas. Some of them just don't even really stand out to you, but I think it's just because it's just like the raw steel, just the shape of it, you know, it acts, it's kind of blends in with the hill country. It's got a hill-like shape, who knows, whatever. Architects, please feel free to give us a lesson in the comment section below. You got a water bottle, you got a little Ducati. There it is. You got a golf course down there. God, that sounds so good. <laughs> Thanks, Pops. Much appreciated. Thank you. So it's not what I thought it was. All right, we are back. We're going to check out the other side. Which, that just looks so dope. But I don't think that there is any cool photo spots. That's kind of dope. Ideally, it would have been neat if they had like an overlook where you can take a photo of itself. And now we're going back. Where's the battery at? We're going to hit up a mural that we have not hit up yet. Uh, kind of see if we can take a photo in front of it, explore a little bit since we got not decently nice weather right now it's not too hot it was 102 earlier today we're gonna go down there probably hang out there for like you know maybe 30 minutes to an hour hit one or two murals see if we can find something cool explore the city a bit uh and continue to go from there and then we'll probably head back by the time the sun is setting good old south austin the dope little moto goozy right there oh hey starbucks what's up dude look at that mm. forever two ventis oh there it is dude that's dope it is there off the high beam we have the burly stiletto shocks we have the vance and high grenades all in air cleaner the saddleman seats we have stock lighting other than the headlamp which is the amazon one uh, we have shinko's front and rear we have the built wall risers built wall bars built wall grips and we have an la whatever la confidential la fairing uh, whatever la uh odometer relocator and that's pretty much it everything else is stock uh we were thinking of doing a chain but we're going to hold off on that because it's 500 bucks more or less with the bolt locks for the wheel uh and then after that uh it's probably going to be it and maybe some cams way down line that's too much work we're just going to be the chain uh we have the bunking crash bar thanks to will and then the bunking sliders and then that's pretty much it everything else is stock when there's no motor work it's an 883 it's a little slow which is running five gears also i'm a fat ass 220 pounds so it's lugging it around so we're gonna try to work with that go with stick with the belt and um try to make it work so go ahead and sneak in right here. Do that. Yeah. So we just met a fellow YouTuber, Cody Tyler, that was uh, taking some photos. Now we're going to try not to get killed here. Oh God, we're about to die. pretty dope you heard me talking in the mic which I wasn't really being too quiet it's funny because whenever you start moto vlogging uh, if you're not used to it which I really wasn't it's kind of unnerving when you're in public because it's like you feel like a weirdo and I was just like okay you know being quiet Cause I want to be polite in that case but there's still cases where I get nervous or not nervous where I feel a little uneasy when I'm talking but like I said, you eventually get used to it. That was just funny because he was just like, hey man, are you a YouTuber? Yes, sir, I am a content creator is the correct terminology that we like to call. We are creators. Uh, so now we are in a new city. We're trying to create. We are about to run out of battery. So this is probably going to be the end of the video. Chilling. It's kind of neat. 
guess I'm going to take a left here. Let me know what you think of this video. We're going to be doing tons more. We're still exploring. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching the videos. We still have tons of stuff coming out. This is the Sporty. Hope you all enjoy. Let me know what you all think of the Sporty. Should I have kept the Z125? Are you glad I have the Sporty? We're going to do some wheelie videos coming up. Or actually failed of wheelie videos. As we saw earlier, uh, we're going to be doing... We're going to try to make Saturdays like my wheelie day. To where at least that's the days I practice. Just so that way there's some continued efforts to learn. Well, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice! Jump practice! Don't forget, we have recently created a Patreon as we almost kill homegirl in the middle of the street. So feel free to, oh my god, I love you, to become a patron of the Patreon. It's going to help fund the channel. We're going to start doing a couple more reviews. It's going to help fund the reviews. That way I can purchase a couple things that y'all may be interested in. Give it my full honest review. We're going to have a glove shootout coming up to where we're going to be comparing the thrashing gloves that I'm wearing currently. There's another set of thrashing gloves. We have the Blessed Apparel gloves. We also have Espinosa leather gloves. That one's interesting. As well as the Odin MFG sharpshooter gloves or the gloves. I can't remember what they call them, Death Grips, uh, and a couple other things in the works. So be sure and subscribe. Comment down below what you think. As always, much love, guys.